Man there, YouTube. Welcome back to Highwayman Trucking and My Way on the Highway. I wanted to do a follow-up video to a video I did a couple of months ago. And I posted it on my channel, but I, I originally posted it on my wife's channel, uh, Obsessive Prepper AZ, uh, because at the time I, I hadn't created a channel yet and started going. Um, it was on Frederick Thompson, FTI, uh, Bill Thompson, uh, and Failure to Pay and a company that has gone out of business. Um, I know that video has gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of views and uh, there's a lot of people out there that FTI, Bill Thompson, owes a great deal of money to. Um, I've been in touch with a few people uh, that they've owed money that I, I met through publishing that video and uh, my reviews on, on what was their Facebook page. And I've kept in contact with a couple. Um, I've heard of one partial payment and uh, no payment on the rest. <clears throat> I, of course, nothing better to do sometimes, so I've kept track of the company and uh, done a little bit of homework. Um, all their offices in the United States are completely closed, at least doing business under the FTI Bill Thompson name. Uh, there was Moline, Illinois. There was Helena, Alabama. A Laredo, Texas. There's also a Dundas, Canada, Ontario, Canada. Uh, to my knowledge, the Canadian side of things is still up and running. And prior to Bill Thompson going out of business uh, a couple of years ago, uh, they were actually bought out by another company, and that's HVH Transportation out of Denver, Colorado. And uh, I'll put a uh, uh, picture up of, of their info as well. Um, this HVH company I contacted several times, left voicemails, never heard anything back. Finally, last week before I headed out, I got through to somebody and they said that they were going to be, they sent me a formal email that they would be sending me uh, correspondence via the U.S. mail as to the proceedings of, this, of, of everything. <clears throat> and essentially, FTI filed bankruptcy and uh, it, it lists a, a report or claim that I can file to be listed as one of their creditors. And this was just a, a really horrible, horrible, dishonest company. But prior to the rocky road that, that started, I think around September, October of last year, uh, they were a very reputable company for a long time. And it's one of those things I had no idea uh, when I booked this load. I, I believe I booked it the first week of uh, December and uh, was supposed to be paid the first week of January and I never heard anything. And then ultimately, a few months down the road, uh, you can watch the other video and, and see what transpired there. But staying up on top of this and current, I, uh, through one of the people that I spoke with via Facebook Messenger, uh, she was able to get uh, an email in writing, so to speak, uh, of their repayment plan or structure, um, and she had forwarded that to me. And <clears throat> it said that I would be paid, I, I believe, December of this year or something like that was, was the uh, result of that. But I'll post this up here as well so you can view that. Um, but having not heard anything, I started tracking down this parent company, HVH, and uh, held them to the fire, so to speak, and I just received this claim in the mail that I've got a file now to be listed as one of uh, FTI's creditors. What really gets me <clears throat> is how these big companies are able to protect themselves under the bankruptcy laws. Now, you would think, I mean, this was a, a a fairly good-sized company with offices in the United States and Canada with a parent company that is still doing business today. Um, they have many owner-operators leased on. They have their own equipment and company drivers, and they're still pushing freight. And it really irks me that a subsidiary of theirs can completely go under, owe people money, yet this parent company isn't isn't responsible for that debt, and and that's really frustrating, um, at, at how some of these big companies are protected. Now, 
in bankruptcy. Granted, they're supposed to, you know, sell off all the, the company's assets and then pay everybody an, an even amount. And that really stinks for those guys that were, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy-five thousand dollars in debt to this company. Um, personally, I, I can't imagine allowing any anyone to get that far in debt to me. I just would never do it. You know, net thirty rolls around, <clears throat> and. Uh, anything sketchy we're not hauling for them again and um, you know certainly not till substantial payment is, is brought current and so forth and you know I get it you got 10 or 15 trucks and I mean you could in one month be calling exclusively for a company and that could set you back you know fifty sixty thousand dollars I can see that very easily very clearly I don't know if that was the case I don't know everybody's specifics on this company, but <clears throat> they were a horrible company. They knew they weren't paying their bills when I booked that load. And uh, it seems to me somebody should have been held criminally liable for fraud at that point um, when they were, you know, two, three months behind on their invoices, yet still brokering loads and, and so forth at the time when they did myself. And, and there was people that even, uh, you know, booked after me. I think they, they lasted for almost six months after after they shorted me um, of doing business and conducting business. I mean, if you watch that video, I spoke to people in the office and they were just dumbfounded at what was going on. Some had given their resignation, looking for other jobs. Uh, people, you know, had no clue. Uh, management was well aware. I spoke to, to management and uh, they just continued the fraud, so to speak. And uh, anyhow, I'm not upset anymore. They, they are what they are. But uh, just a little update because I know that video is still getting a lot of responses. Um, and again, the parent company that bought uh, FTI, Bill Thompson Incorporated, is HVH Transportation out of Colorado. And uh, I'll post a picture of uh, their information again here. And uh, if anybody out there is trying to track down how to get paid from Bill Thompson FTI. Uh, your best and only recourse is to go through this HVH. It's quite a process. Um, I don't advise just leaving a message, uh, demand to get through to somebody because I never got a refer return phone call for two months and uh, finally got somebody on the phone. And uh, like I said, I, they sent me a formal email and then we just received this claim packet uh, to attach to their bankruptcy uh, in the mail. Who knows if we'll ever see any money out of it. I, I don't know, you know, for all I know, everybody might receive 50 bucks. Who knows how many people they owe. Um, and it, again, you know, I was fortunate. They got me for a couple thousand dollars. Um, some people was less and I, I heard all the way up to 75,000. So anyhow, just wanted to do this little quick video um, attaching that and uh, that stuff rather and uh, give me a quick update on what I've heard and what I haven't heard. Um, double check those brokers, folks. Double check their credit score, their payment terms, everything. Uh, know what you're getting yourself into before you ever pick that load up. And uh, stay safe out there. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you want to be notified of future re references, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.